Ladies and gentlemen, let's continue the action in the Super Featherweight Division. Introducing to you, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red trunks, trimmed with white and weighing in at nine stone and five pounds. He's taking part in his 11th professional contest. Would you please welcome from Worcester, Lenny Hodgkins. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the blue trunks, trimmed with white and weighed in at nine stone and six pounds. Undefeated as a professional in five contests, four wins, two inside the scheduled distance, and one draw. He's from Sawford. Please welcome Lee Mega. Timekeeper Roger Bowden and the referee in charge of the action is Grant Wallace. This is four three minute rounds. Hey lads, thanks for the knuckle part of the glove. When I say break, I want a good clean break. In the event of a knockdown, I want the boxer standing to go to a neutral corner. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck to both of you. Latest addition to the super featherweight division here, Salford's Lee Mega in the blue and white trunks in his sixth outing. He's won four of them. Now he meets Lenny Hodgkins from Worcester, yet to score a win in his professional career. Mega, another of the Mick Hennessy stable. Solid start and looking for the hooks to the body early. And a big rally from Hodgkins, who's badly in need of a win. Yeah, well, Hodgkins, he obviously loves the game. Ten fights, ten losses. Uh, you have to be loving the game. It's not doing him an awful lot of favours, is it? He's lost on points eight times, stopped twice. Slightly easier match for Miga after his grueling draw with Wolverhampton's Carl Allen last time out in Hull, which is a real tough one. He hasn't lost yet, Miga. Changing the angles there. Just walks into a counter in right from Hodgkins. One criticism we think maybe of Miga is that he needs to work on his defence. Yeah, well, he keeps his hands up uh, nicely, and after he first punches, he gets his hands back up again. And maybe, maybe his head's just a little bit stationary. Maybe that's the problem. Good body shots, though. Just like his stablemates Leo O'Reilly and Dave Walker throw. All trained at Lennox Lewis College. Hodgkins already looking marked up around the eyes and on the ribs. Did well there to get his elbows tucked down. And that's what they're aiming for. Yeah, Migas slipped a couple of nice little left hooks downstairs. That's his obvious plan. Blood to the nose of the Worcester journeyman. Eager obviously looking to upset the rhythm of Hodgkins. He comes back strongly with punches of his own, but with very little impact. No wins, no stoppages yet. Coming a little bit ragged now, Hodgkins. Neither applying the pressure. Stop. And Bro did that uppercut in two as they touch gloves in the very one-sided opening round in favour of this man, Lee Miga. Two stoppages, that draw against Carl Allen. It's a really hard one. Trainer. Yeah, well, a good first round there for Miga. Picked his shots well. Okay, took a couple of counters, but I'd have him saying uh, 
I mean, that's what the game's all about. Didn't take any silly punches. And the defence wasn't too bad. Hands nice and high most of the time. And he picked some lovely body shots. I think that took some, some of the steam out of Hodgkin as, as the fight went on. 13 body shots to one from Hodgkin. One in the round. Here's the second, nine stone four for 130 pound division. Lee Meager on the left of your screen, the 23 year old from Salford. Making good ground as a young professional. Meeting Worcester's Lenny Hodgkins. Professional since July 99. Two years of agony in the ring. Twice beaten in a round. That's why Willie Limond and Eddie Nevins did him in 35 seconds. Here's the man of Alex Arthur. Recently blew away. Good left to the body by Miga again and Hodgkins just sinks back. He can't take much more of this. Look at his back and the reddened ribs, Jim. Yeah, he's lunging with his attacks, Hodgkins. Uh, you know, he, he can't time Miga as he comes in. Miga's just a little bit too cute for him, I think. So, it's, uh, I mean, this could start becoming even more one-sided than it's been. That's the Gypsy from Worcester. Uh, 35 amateur bouts. And this man, Lee Miga, box for England. And was in the Commonwealth Games in 1998. Another left to the body. So Hodgkins, Hodgkins is actually leading off now, which is making it easier for Niger. He's picking him off now. He doesn't have to go looking for him in the second round here. So Niger firmly in control now. As Niger's finding it easy to attack the Hodgkins body. He's done well, the man from Salford, to come back from the Commonwealth Games. He was blasted out in only eight seconds by the Irish featherweight David Lowry, which must have been a crushing defeat. Hodgkins just slips down there. He looks at the canvas, as if to say there was something slippery on it, but to me, it's just a matter of time here for Lee Meager. How many more body shots can Hodgkins take? I mean, credit to him, he hasn't complained about anything so far. He's getting his elbows down and taking so some of the the power out of the shots. Really, he's, he's not landed anything worthwhile this round. He's a very game pro to keep going despite losing 10 out of 10. Jam for the first time from Miga. Back to the body. Hodgkins is still there. Does this mean that Meager's not that big a puncher? He's not landing cleanly at the moment, I think. Hodgkins think is more about defence now, tightening up. That was, a good one. Shot. that was a good one. Just a couple of seconds before the bell, and if there'd been more time in the round, Hodgkins may well have had to take a count. On the two corners. And look at that stat. Body shots from Lee Meager. Worked on in the Lennox Lewis College. He lives in London, the man from Salford. Yeah, well, Meager having things pretty much his own way. Some nice body shots just behind the elbow. The Hodgkins trying to keep himself in the fight, but not an awful lot of success. Just picking them off. As the round progressed, I think uh, Hodgkins became a bit more defensive mind. He wasn't committing himself so much. He wasn't landing so cleanly. But uh, more or less dominated the round. Second round, Halfway stage of this four rounder. Lee Miga very much having it his own way against Worcester's unfortunate Lenny Hodgkins. He's battled hard, but has not possessed the skill, really, to deal with the young man from Salford. Some blood to his face now for Hodgkins to add to the problems. 
There's a little cut. It's underneath the nose or in the nose for Hodgkins as Miga piles on the pressure. He needs to land that body shot clean again and it might just do the business. Yeah, well, it's difficult to look good because uh, Hod Hodgkins is, is very defensive minded now, but to his credit, he's not clinching, he's not spoiling. He's just covering up and trying to come back with the odd counter. So uh, uh, it's still good to watch, he's not, he's not spoiling the fight. It's a bad moment though now for Hodgkins. A good head shot and it's over. And that's a good stoppage straight away by referee Grant Wallace. And Lee Meager wins impressively in round three. And the agony grows for Lenny Hodgkins. 11 defeats in 11. Well done, Lee Meager. Another winner from the Hennessy McCracken stable. He got it done in the end. Yeah, he did. It was a good stoppage by the referee. I mean, Hodgkins, he wasn't in the fight. He wasn't competing. He was just going through the motions, surviving, putting up a show. But uh, I think the first excuse the referee got to get him out of there, he took it. And uh, quite rightly so. Let's just have a look at the finish. So he was just backed up all the way through the round. And, uh, I mean, he could have gotten up probably going back to doing what he was doing. But no point. Uh, we knew who the better man was. Well, the way to victory, so the referee timed it nicely. So he calls it off just before Hodgkins falls. Excellent timing. Yeah, I think by this time the referee would probably be looking for an excuse to stop it because it was becoming so one sided, and he got that excuse. After the draw last time out, a win inside the distance for Lee Meager. Ladies and gentlemen, timekeeper Roger Bowden has recorded a time of 1 minute and 12 seconds of the third round. Referee Grant Wallace has stopped the contest. Hodgkins in no position to continue. Your winner, he is still undefeated from Salford, Lee Miga. And let's show your appreciation for a very game boxer as always. Worcester's Lenny Hodgkins.